Voila, red glasses charged. Well, actually, they're um, clear glasses, but with red whining. <laughs> actually, that's good, yeah, good point, good point. So, yeah, now this is the one that I was curious about because, you know, the, the, the three we've tried so far have been brilliant for what they are. They see wine in a can, and again, might be frowned upon by some people, but I think what, what they've done for, for uh, what they've been used for, have been absolutely spot on. Couldn't be better. So, the red. Now, we, we, we poured this and we looked at the content. We, we've seen worse come out of bottles. Yeah, we have. Yeah, now, that, a that is a, it's a delicious looking. Nice, bright, fresh, sparkly. Mm. It's good looking, good yeah. looking. Yeah. Um, okay, so Just like me. <laughs> I mean, I'm in exactly like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be better, yeah. You spot on with that, John. Let's have a little go on the nose. Oh. Actually, that's got a lot of it going smell, on, isn't yeah. it? The first bit I got was like a Beaujolais smell. Yeah, I'll give me that. And then, and then, sort of like berries. Yeah, black it's, currant. It's really that is one way to describe as as jammy. As you said, with the first one, you said the Beaujolais had that raspberryish, and then is it? I start getting into there. I've got to remember this is wine from a can. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's wine from a can. Yeah, and it's as we said. Designed for a festival or something, yeah. so it's yeah, yeah. And I, I'm going to say as well, you know, like we say about the colour, I've smelt, you know, worse wines from from bottles. I re I really have. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you're pro I, I wonder if, if I, I guess the disadvantage of the can in this case is that on the in <coughs> pull up, you're not actually going to be able to smell it like this, are you? No. <clears throat> you're not having a glass. No. But, but uh, if you do take a glass or a plastic beaker, hopefully you would. It's really lovely. Yes, that's it. Right, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm intrigued. Okay. So full on fruit to begin with, and then it dies away to a taste. Of, I'm not quite sure what that is, but it reminds me of um, some um, Eastern European wine finishes. You know, where you get that sort of taste at the end. So yeah, similar to that. I can't can't tell you what it mm. what it is, what it what it tastes like, but but actually the first the first and again I guess the thing is that you're going to be drinking this out of the can. You're going to be obviously mm. if you're looking at this, you're you're not probably going to be concentrating on on the the length form or the taste that comes afterwards. Again, you're going to be you know this is designed for you know Wimbledon mm. or whatever. You're just going to be more involved with that. Yeah, yeah for, for me it has that. It starts off, as I said, like, quite intense to begin with, like, uh, fruit, like, a, li a little bit jammy. It doesn't, it doesn't convey what we got from the nose onto the palate, no. I didn't think. No. But then it becomes very, very thin. Um, you know, the, it, like I said, it just whittles away um, fairly quickly. And I, I expected more. I did expect more from that. I think, yeah, because there were so many sort of flavours coming up through the nose, wasn't there? You were yeah. expecting there to be more on the, on the, uh, on the palate. Mm. But having said that, again, you know, if you're out with this, I wonder what this would taste like chilled. I think that'd be a bit. I think that'd be a good idea, John, to yeah. chill that. Yeah, because one of the things we are we're also thinking here is we have to, to, to take into consideration is you know the th three prior to this we, we're talking about the picnics and the festivals or wherever, wherever it might be, but all these well nine times out of ten involve sunshine, and yeah. it would be you know in England. <laughs> yeah, anyway, but, but you know, if, if you're doing these things, mostly, even myself as a red wine fan, I would probably be drinking white wine in these environments. Mm. So for me, the, the, I, I would probably not have gone for a red wine in a can. I know it sounds awful, but a red wine in a can anyway, um, at, at such a, a, an event. Um, and that, yeah, for me, it, it, it's okay, but I'd, I'd stick with the whites. Well, I, my, my thought on terms of it being sort of, you know, chilled was, was obviously Beaujolais is quite often chilled mm. and served chilled, so... I, I think we, sh we should have another go chilled, because um, I don't know if we're doing that justice by having it like that. Yeah. But it, would def it would definitely take a chill. Yeah. Mm. We'll have another go chilled. Chilled. Mm, just not we'll just, we'll just be chilled about it. <laughs> I said, well, so there we go. There we go. Fantastic. Well, fan I, I have to say that, you know, in, in terms of the, the products, uh, what a fantastic idea. Can in, uh, I, I think they do it quite a lot uh, in, in, in the States, uh, but this is a brilliant idea. Fantastic to take on picnics uh, or going to festivals or going to whatever outside event you may be going to, including Bermitzas. Um, 
Because <laughs> I'm invited to two or three a month. <laughs> All the time. Uh, but no, no, no. Cr cracking product. I, I, I think you're doing very, very well with that. I, I, hats off to you. Yeah, hats off to you. Great. Well, we'll see you in the next one. We're really looking forward to it. We'll probably be back to bottles in the next one. We're back to bottles. We're back one, in yeah. the next one. We'll see you there. Chin chin. chin.